This is Tom Dillon, the Lifetime Liberal, and today is Wednesday, December whoops, 4th, 2019. Uh, the title of this rant is, How Far Will the GOP Slash Trump Go to Follow Russia's Lead? Uh, so in this impeachment thing, uh, the Republicans' go-to point is basically to embrace the debunked theory by all of our intelligence agencies that Ukraine interfered with the 2000, 2016 election uh, and uh, the whole Biden thing. Totally debunked, uh, but that's what they're doing. That's what they're following. And they're embracing it and blindly moving along with it. And this type of gaslighting that we are seeing from Trump and the Republicans has right now 40% uh, of the GOP electric, electorate <laughs> basically saying that Russia is a friend or an ally. Now that was in July of 2018 when that poll was taken. I would say now that it is much higher than that. Uh, but what this is basically saying is that, hey, it's okay to be friends with Russia. And let's re never forget that Russia is a failed Petro state. Uh, they uh, kill journalists. <laughs> Russia, uh, Putin is an autocratic leader who shakes down his whole country uh, for himself and a couple oligarchs, and they make billions upon billions, and, uh, and everyone else is left on their own. And we cannot forget that. But this gaslighting to say that they're a friend or an ally is, you know, it's incredibly outrageous. But my big concern is, or a big concern that I see, is if this guy is going to, he's going to be impeached, but he won't get thrown out of office. How will he act after that? And how much will he follow Russia's lead? And how much will the GOP blindly follow that? Uh, to Will we get to the point where this is what happened in Russia on Monday? Putin signed into law basically a law that allowed them to classify journalists, bloggers, uh, and media users as foreign agents. So basically, ain't nobody here going to be doing nothing except following exactly what our propaganda is. That's what the, can you imagine that? And also on Monday, Putin signed into law requiring smartphones, computers, all smartphones, computers, and smart TVs sold in Russia to come pre-installed with Russian software. Is that where this president and the Republicans are going to go after they refuse to remove him from office? Because right now, they've got their blinders on. They're following then, you know, this purveyor of evil, Trump, down, you know, the black hole, <laughs> a black hole, and I shouldn't laugh, you know, a, a black hole, you know, of incredible amount of propaganda, gaslighting, uh, you know, and with all of the attacking that this president is doing against the free press here in the United States, after he's basically set free to do whatever he wants. And we saw incredible crap of what he, what he was really thinking about. A lot of pathologies came out in his uh, uh, press conferences yesterday. But if he gets this free pass uh, and doesn't get removed from office, how quickly will he move to start in, in, in acting things just like Putin did on Monday? Uh, we are in for rough times ahead. And again, um, we've got to get rid of this guy and we've got to get rid of him as fast as possible.